Welcome to the groundbreaking for the future City Hall, future council chambers for the city of Fort Worth. This truly is a historic day. You know, some would say once in a generation. As many of you know, the previous City Hall, the current City Hall, has been home to the city for nearly 50 years. And, you know, one of the things that we wanted to make sure with this project is that we not only plan for the current, but for the next 50 years with this facility. Um, when our team was brought on board by the wonderful city of Fort Worth, uh, one of the things that we sat down with uh, Mayor Price at the time and then, you know, City Manager Cook and shortly thereafter with Mayor Parker, they imparted on us, you know, really a couple goals for this project. But the main goal was to be welcoming, inviting, and flexible for the next 50 years. The other thing they wanted to make sure is that this future city hall could be home and accessible to all members of the Fort Worth community. And so you'll see kind of throughout the designs, see that a number of things we put together is targeted at being as welcoming and accessible to everyone in the community as possible. You know, there's been a number of people that have helped this project come together. We have wonderful partners at the Lindbeck Group who've done so much to help make this day happen. The Boca Pal and Brinkley Sargent Wigginton team that our architect team has been incredible throughout this project. There are quite literally a million sub-consultants that have helped with everything as you can imagine from interiors, exteriors, security, technology, wayfinding, and beyond. I'd also like to thank the city of Fort Worth and all the incredible people that have helped to date. There's been so, so many people that have helped throughout the city. This project quite literally encompasses every department in the city. And so every department has had you know, a really wonderful part in this journey. There's also been so many wonderful people in the community that have helped throughout this project. You know, when we first started, we went to the folks at Downtown Fort Worth Inc. We went to a number of the Chambers of Commerce, a number of the groups within the city, and asked them simply, what do you want in this future building? And we got so many wonderful pieces of feedback back from the teams. You know, really wanting to be focusing on equity, on availability, and overall accessibility to the tower. You know, I'd also like to really thank the group from I'm Home Coffee for coming out this morning. I know it's early. I appreciate everyone being here, but I think they've done a wonderful job. You know, really great local group. I also really want to give a shout out to our library staff at City of Fort Worth. All of the wonderful hard hats you see on both sides here uh, was coordinated by the library. They're all decorated from each of the 17 libraries within the City of Fort Worth. And all of the designs on the helmets came from kids at those libraries. So. You know, after the ceremony, I'd love for you to walk up and check them out, but there is, you know, the, the sheets that were sent in by the kids with the designs and then completed by the library. All of the music that you've heard here this morning is also from the Amplify 817 playlist that the library has coordinated. So I hope the message you're hearing today is this is very much a Fort Worth centric event from top to bottom, everything that's happened, you know, to bring this all together. So I don't want to make this a very long component. I want to make sure we get through this today. We have some really exciting things inside. You know, we have the wonderful helmets. We want to get to the groundbreaking. But I mostly want to thank all of you for being here today because that means that what we're doing on this project uh, is resonating with the community and that this will be the future home of not only the staff of the City of Fort Worth, but all of you that are here today. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to City Manager David Cook uh, to give a few remarks about the project. Thank you, Tanyan. I think I got to make some comments when we uh, had some type of ceremony, remember inside, and I got to share with you that sometimes you just get lucky, right? And so I don't want to take away from all the planning or any of that, but I'll just say, so you plan a day where you're gonna have a big groundbreaking and you can't tell what the weather's gonna be like on the day that you plan, right? Think about it. Sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> and it's a beautiful day. It's great to see everybody here. Tanya mentioned that <clears throat> we set out some goals right at the beginning, and, they were con and he's consistently applied them. But I did wanna share them with you and share this story. So I left old City Hall, so we now can say the old City Hall. This is new City Hall. Everybody remembers old City Hall, right? Yeah. yeah. A couple stories, bunker look, you got it? There is a plaque on the northeast side of that building, big metal plaque that's got two dates on it. Does everybody remember those? They're years. 
One says 1969, and the other says 1971. I'm assuming that was groundbreaking and ribbon cutting, I'm guessing. But if you do the math, that's over 50 years ago, right? So you don't get to do these events very often. And so imagine a groundbreaking and a ribbon cutting back in 1969, 1971. Here we are today in 2022. This is a multi-generational type of event and decision and planning that goes into this. And we are thinking about the next 50 years and how the city will change over that period of time. So one of the goals as we embark on New City Hall and what we'll be talking about today is thinking about 50 years into the future. Another goal was thinking about that the, it's gonna be about the future is a transformational change in how we deliver city services. So just think about that. We don't deliver services today in 2022 like we did back in 1971. Well, I hope so. <laughs> but I'm just, just think about that, right? It's gonna change. And so we have to change along with that. Another goal was to be sustain sustainable and cost efficient. And so I think Tanyan's holding us to that as we plan space, talk about how we want to use space in the future. And part of that is to be efficient, equitable, and flexible in the workspaces. The way we work today, the way you look at how business operates today, it's not the same as it was in the 60s and 70s where everybody had their own private office. Right, it's very different. A goal that uh, we keep repeating to Tanyan is we're gonna maintain the class A look and feel. This is a class A office building. It's gonna remain a class A building for services to our residents, our citizens, taxpayers, and Finally, the fifth goal was to make sure that it's inclusive and engaging in open public spaces. And so those were the goals we set out on. We intend to take those through to the end. And I do want to thank Tanya before I recognize other folks. He has done a wonderful job shepherding us to this point where we are today. So Tanya, thank you once again. Now this is the part I'll be try to be quick because there's so many people to thank, but I did want to thank, uh, I see former employee Jay Chapa. <laughs> right? Jay, stand up. Jay led this effort right from the beginning. It was November of 2020, I think, when we had the opportunity to come take a look at it. Another guy I want to recognize is Steve Cook. Where's Steve? Well, in the back, he's over property management. Some of, some of you know that we had another plan to eventually build a new city hall that was going to take multiple years and multiple hundreds of millions of dollars and moving a lot of different pieces. We brought Steve over here in November of 2020. And if you know Steve and you know his demeanor, when I tell you he was giddy, I mean, Steve was giddy about this building and the idea that we could occupy this as the new city hall. So the new Steve is giddy Steve Cook. So, <laughs> and then I want to recognize Dana Bergdahl. Dana, Dana is carrying the ball. <clears throat> and there's a big team effort. So everybody who's on Dana's team, raise your hand so we can recognize you as part of the new City Hall planning team. Thanks, thanks to all of you for getting us here today. Now I have the pleasure of bringing up Mayor Maddie Parker, who gets to lead us through the, today's groundbreaking and soon the ribbon cutting. Mayor, come on up. Good morning, Fort Worth. I think it's go time, Fort Worth. I like it. 
So Tanya knows I use that during the campaign slogan, you're a smart man, right? Um, we already thanked you. You've done a tremendous job. I know each of us have gotten to meet with you many times over, as well as former elected officials to understand what today really is reflecting. Today is more than a groundbreaking. It's really about the future of our city, the future of Fort Worth, and what this city hall really will reflect in our community. Um, if all of you in here today are probably here to celebrate getting out of that other building, frankly, um, but, but truthfully, it doesn't reflect who Fort Worth is. It doesn't reflect an open, inclusive, diverse community that is excited about our future. And this building will do just that. First, to the city employees that I see here today, um, many of you have been stuck in the basement for decades doing your job and serving the citizens in Fort Worth. I cannot wait to see your beautiful, well-lit office space that will make you excited to come to work every day and importantly welcome our residents into this building. To the residents of Fort Worth, think about this lobby as your living room. This is a place that you can come and gather with your family and your children. We'll have beautiful public art. We'll have opportunities to display important facts about Fort Worth, like the USS Fort Worth and memorabilia around that ship, and more to come. We want you to feel welcome in this building and a place you actually want to come to. Where we're standing right here will be the new City Hall Chamber. Very important decisions are made in that hall every single day. And, but we want it to be a place where you actually want to come. You can see there's windows and lighting around you. It's not so intimidating, you don't feel like you're coming down into a gauntlet. All of those things will be possible in this wonderful new building. And we can't forget about the outdoor space. Um, one thing that makes this facility so special is the proximity to the beautiful Trinity River. And there's been so much thought put into what we all want to see um, and the connectivity we need to the Trinity River. So in closing, again, thank you to everyone that made this possible, to my dear friend Jay and to David Cook and Dana and the entire city management team. You've all worked incredibly hard to make today possible. And to the construction crews, I hope each of you get to have a piece of yourself in this building and know how important it is to have everyone involved. This is truly a community venture and there are so many wonderful ideas circulating about what needs to be possible here. We are listening to all of them. On behalf of my friends here on the front row, our council members, I know we all share in your excitement about the future of this awesome city and what this building really reflects. Um, and I hope each of you will come visit us here, even on the contentious days, um, but importantly here to have fun and think about the future of Fort Worth, Texas and what this building truly means. Thank you for being here this morning. Uh -huh.